Hi, everybody. I'm Mary Burley, Chief Educator at the Norman Rockwell Museum, and I'm here today with Stephanie Plunkett, who is the Chief Curator and Deputy Director at the Museum. We are really excited to talk with you about the painting Outward Bound, done by Norman Rockwell in 1927. Um, this is a pretty unique painting for Rockwell, and it invites us to think about the journeys that are our relationships. Um, what are the relationships that define our lives and help us both see the past and look into the future, while they're also really enjoyable in the present. So Stephanie, would you bring us on a noticing journey? Absolutely. Um, in this beautiful painting, uh, which actually didn't accompany any story, it was really just a painting that was in the magazine all by itself, we see two people who are looking very carefully at something. And so if you look at the picture, who do we have? You'll notice there's an older man who seems to have a close relationship with a younger boy, perhaps a grandson. And they are looking out to sea. And if you look carefully into the picture, what are they looking at? And have you had this experience of looking into the distance at something unique or interesting? In this picture, Norman Rockwell really reinforces that whatever is out there is really interesting. Even the dog is straining to look and see what the people are looking at. The older man's gesture by placing his hand on the boy's shoulder gives us a sense that they have a great relationship. But the older man might be remembering the journeys of his past life. He's wearing a captain's hat and perhaps he was a captain at sea at one point. The little boy, of course, was too young to go to sea, but he's wearing a sailor suit, if you notice. And look at what he's holding behind his back in his hands, a sailor's cap. So perhaps he is wondering what journeys his future might hold, and I'll bet you do that as well. One thing that I just want to mention is that Norman Rockwell was very close to his father's father, meaning his paternal grandfather. And so even though Rockwell never painted his paternal grandfather, as far as we know, this close relationship between an older man and a young boy, perhaps grandfather and grandson, often appears in his paintings. And there's a lot that is autobiographical or about you when you make a picture, I'll bet. But there are a lot of other interesting facts about this painting. And Mary, I wonder if you would share what some of those are. I would love to, Stephanie. And building on what you said about this very special relationship that Norman Rockwell had with his grandfather, um, we can think about the fact that Rockwell didn't show faces in this image. He loved painting faces and he usually painted images that were in his studio. But in this case, we see the back of the boy's head and the back of the, the grandfather. And that actually gives us an opportunity to imagine ourselves and our own relationships. While we also think about Rockwell and his relationship with his grandfather. Rockwell didn't really paint that many landscapes. And we do know that in 1912, he spent the summer in Provincetown, Massachusetts, uh, painting landscapes with the artist Charles Hawthorne, Hawthorne. And that would probably inspired this image. So those are some fun facts. The last one that is a little bit interesting also is that the studio that Norman Rockwell had in New Rochelle, New York, looked just like the building that he's put in the foreground on the right side. So it's a white building with a chimney, white chimney. And that is Rockwell's studio, which he just moved to the sea and put in that spot. And so we love that Rockwell was creative in making his landscapes and, uh, and creating images that only existed in his mind until he actually painted them. And that brings us to what you might do. As you think about the important relationships in your life, if you were gonna create a painting or a composition that represented 
the wonder and the beauty of a relationship with someone much older or much younger. Um, who would be with you? Would you have an animal by your side or birds nearby? And where would you be looking out? Um, we'd love to hear your thoughts on that. Email us anytime at learn at nrm.org. And we're really happy you joined us today for this journey in looking. Talk to you soon.